the ANF intelligence capabilities and understanding of global networks. Using this tool, we have been able to identify a few criminals who are foreign nationals but have had established local partners in Pakistan. Once we empower the ANF, we will be sharing our data and transfer this knowledge to other law enforcing agencies like FIA, which would be, which, which would be able to use it for e-visa departments and cargo screening as well. I would like to lay deep emphasis on State Bank of Pakistan Financial Monitoring Unit, and we should make all our all-out efforts to ensure that financial task force and other financial monitoring agencies should show that Pakistan has gone all out to choke illicit movement of money and drugs. We now have state-of-the-art capabilities and that not many nations have today. It would be appropriate to give credit to the architect of this database, Sayyid Tajamal Hussain, whom I met for the very first time at a course in Harvard University. Since then, this data scientist at such a young age has done wonders for Pakistan. Young, dynamic youth like the Jamal are the strength of this resilient nation and proud and proud of Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, I must applaud and appreciate his parents because they are here and his better half too. Ladies and gentlemen, he didn't even charge a single penny for this database. That is the commitment of the youth of Pakistan. Our youth is vibrant to the core and they have got the due abilities and now we are conveying a message to the entire globe that we will compete and we are ready to compete at all levels, inshallah. The data in this solution updates in less than 10 minutes. New features of this pro project are under development uh, that includes facial recognition and smart search. This solution will make this solution will make anti-narcotics force one of the most effective force in the region, inshallah. The intelligence from this solution will also be shared with other law enforcement agencies and government bodies for their benefit. We are now monitoring more than 200 global government agencies and have tagged more than 100 drugs and 20 plus chemicals that are involved in production of narcotics. Billions of dollars flow through the hands of drug trafficking organizations each year and what they do with the money can have a huge impact on local and global economies. They might smuggle cash out of their home country, buy or build real estate, invest in restaurants and ca casinos for money laundering. In a recent UNODC report, the connection between the drug problem and four areas of international concern, organized crime, illicit financial flows, corruption and terrorism insurgency is highlighted. Therefore, it is mandatory for local government to take necessary steps to control drug-related crimes. Project Aman is designed to tackle the illicit drug trafficking in Pakistan. It provides a comprehensive and one of the largest database on the individuals and organizations related to narcotics and money laundering related crimes. It collects the data from a variety of local and global sources. It performs various operations to transform and consolidate the data into a single repository. The database is constantly expanded and updated to offer the most accurate results.